you know, you, you asked about, well, you know, why would somebody watch the videos? Mm -hmm. Maybe some might say, my, my wife might say, oh, this is as dull as dishwater, yeah. like, like moving the camera every eight to 10 feet and repeat, repeat, repeat. But if you're thinking about buying a matter, if you're a real estate photographer and you're thinking yeah. about adding matter for it, the, Probably what you want to know is about the workflow and what is it like doing the scanning. I mean, this room has a lot of dust also. Yeah. So we're going to do a little lens uh, blow after this because okay. I just think that this room in particular, is, I'm trying to not kick anything up, um, but it's dusty. And so I'm noticing there are some little particles yeah. on the lenses and there's a fan in the camera. So you have to assume that if you're using it in a construction environment, the fan might suck in dust particles. There's going to be wear and tear on your device. Just keep that in mind. And yeah, it is a little bit boring to watch somebody do Matterport, I admit. But I think that, uh, you know, it is a, it's a good opportunity to, to learn and to share best practices with yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, just simply watching where are you picking up the tripods mm -hmm. from that that, you know, do I pick it up from one of the tripod legs? Do I pick it up from the inside? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, all those little subtle things is, is kind of a reason to, you yeah. know, to watch, to see. Uh, I think one of the one of the things that we're not seeing yes. is that the that there's uh, stitching errors and then all of a sudden you have to delete a scan, go back and rescan it. Right. Uh, 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 oh, sorry, I'm walking kind of fast. You're good. Yes. My, my sense with the number of Matterport service providers that have Pro 3 cameras uh, that upgraded from Matterport Pro 2 camera mm -hmm. was, oh, look at that. I'm having fewer alignment error problems. I'm having exactly. fewer errors of any kind. Let's do this, Dan, because I know that um, people want to know what's going to happen when people go outside. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's make our way from the living room. And remember, I just sort of jumped over like the front half of the house. Yes. We're cool, like it's no problem. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is scan there and then we'll go through the kitchen and then it, it might see you in this. No, you're good. And then we're gonna come through the kitchen and we're gonna basically make a beeline to go from here over through the kitchen, out the scullery and then onto the to the pool deck. Uh, you've been doing this quite some time. Have you? Do you find that you still make cameo appearances in some of your Matterport tours by accident? Only in the glass. In the glass. Yeah, yeah. In, the glass. in the glass. And sometimes that can't be helped. Yeah, but then they gave us the blur feature, and so it's kind of not that big of a deal now. I don't find that it's that much of an issue. And then this is good timing because as we go past my my, let me just. Chairs looking like they're not tucked in, even though this is there. Okay. All right. Okay. And so we've made it this front part of the house. This is what we skipped, all that. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna go through the kitchen, out the door, and into the backyard. Thanks. I was hoping to make a cameo appearance in your uh -huh. $8 million Matterport digital twin of this $8 million listing. Yeah. Well. Thank you that you have confidence that I'm pretty good about staying outside of your scans. I think you're good. Yeah. I think you're fine, Dan. Yeah. Wait fall into one of the air conditioning traps you in the know, floor, but, yes, uh, but are, I'll stay out of your scan. There are traps, so you should be careful. Let's see if we can jump this far. That's definitely a push, but I would like to get outside as fast as we can. I've seen some of my colleagues go 40 feet. So that's not 40 feet, but should be fine. Like why I'm confident that it's gonna work is because even though my scan is here, and I want to put it basically like over here. Uh, I'm having trouble seeing it because of the light. Maybe we can turn around this way. Sorry. So this is the scan. I did mm -hmm. one here in the yeah. room. One hard there. Still see. hard to see here. Let's yeah. go. Let's go over here. Okay, it's done. So it yes. should work aligning your scan. So I felt like I have enough data here that it'll recognize that that's the spot. And yep. it worked. Yeah, great. Thank you. Uh, but you can see that it's not a good 
distance of uh, space between the scans because I have all this black date, like lack of data underneath the scan. So I will need to continue to fill in a little more. Okay, awesome. So Emily has been gracious enough to let me follow along as she scans this 13,000 plus square foot home, three floors, three levels, two different staircases to go upstairs, downstairs, a basement. Yeah, uh, and, uh, cabana, we might make it to the yeah. cabana. So, uh, uh, but unfortunately, before I knew Emily was coming to Atlanta, Anna and I had some social plans for tonight. So we're jumping around a little bit so that we can see some of, em uh, some of Emily scanning on the main level of the house, scanning outdoors, doing some staircases, uh, really, uh, Emily's been kind enough to accommodate my schedule so that I can get some it's all good, video. Dan. It's all good. Uh, uh, but that's why we're jumping around a little bit as opposed to saying, well, why isn't Emily just staying in a straight line? I know, right? Uh, and then just continuing to build the little mini map of this entire floor. Exactly. And then I think Emily actually has some time challenges and may not get the whole house done. I probably won't Today. get the whole house done, but I'll get close to the whole house done. And uh, it's really a matter of dark spaces won't be as relevant. And, you know, you don't need to see every nook and cranny. Uh, some of the people who are like obsessed with the dollhouse will say, like, you could have just taken extra time to do that. But I feel like, like I said in the beginning, the idea behind this is having an impression of the space. Like that's the, that's really what you need is you need an impression of the space.